Hi, I'm Punita here from Huawei Global Training Center. Today, we're going to discuss about RF Unit Introduction on AAU System, Part 7. What is AAU? AAU is known as Active Antenna Unit. It is also known as Integrated Active Antenna. When constructing multi red radio access technologies and multi-band networks, in the MBB era or mobile broadband, there are a lot of insufficient of the antenna space. So, because of insufficient of the antenna space, it's difficult to form a site development. So, there is no remaining antenna space that is insufficient. So, this one will be utilizing a lot of place. And basically, it uses the existing poles and enable a quick deployment if we are using AAU system. And for this insufficient and no remaining antenna space, you will notice that in most of the scenarios, it requires a new pole. You can't use the existing one. And it requires you have to coordinate with some other properties and build the new poles. So basically, that is the most challenging part that we have with the existing uh, system that we use which is rru plus and antenna system so when we combine these together you will get aau so you can save a lot of space since you can actually reuse the existing pole and enable a quick deployment so there is a sufficient space antenna when you are using aau system and it has and integrated of the radio unit and the antenna unit itself. They have active and passive respectively together. So when do you when do you install the AAU system? What are the scenario evolution of the AAU system? So basically we have different kind of base station. Macro base station plus antenna. So this is RFU and BBU together. This is the antenna system separately. We have the tower mount amplifier and the base station. So this is the amount of space we are using. On the second part, this is the part one, part first scenario. The second scenario, we have distributed base station plus antenna. It comes with the RRU and the BBU system. So we need BBU, we need RRU and we need antenna. So we still have more devices to be add on over here and when you see when we are using the aau system the space is much lesser and it looks more organized and more synchronized over here and it is also very tidy so we have one bbu and an aau system so there is no additional components or modules going through each other but but yet we have the application scenarios on where are the areas or what are the kind of application that we need to use scenario one, scenario two, and scenario number three? Application scen applicable scenarios, example for macro base station and antenna, we can configure it, deploy it at the areas with heavy traffic and wide coverage. Advantages of using this kind of solution, you have the large capacity and easy expansion. However, the disadvantages of using the first scenario is that large floor area and expensive size rental because you need to put a lot of items there and there is a significant of feeder loss caused by long distance between RFU and antenna system. So this is the disadvantages of scenario one. Scenario two can be used at areas with heavy traffic and coverage and the advantages is distributed deployment of the PBU and RRU can reduce the feeder loss improve the base station performance. However, feeder loss problem is still remaining in the second scenario as well. And on the third scenario, when you are using AAU system, it can be deployed at the hotspot areas requiring for capacity expansion. And what are the advantages when you are using AAU system? Zero feeder loss, less installation space, and deployment time reduced by 30%. So this is exactly the best solution however the disadvantages is limited applicability so that is the only function of aau system in different kind of scenario evolution so let's go to the aau concept the aau consists of radio units and antenna units it's a new type of rf module developed 
following the RFU and RRU system. So this is the AU unit and RU unit we have active and we also have the passive RRU and RFU unit. The RUs in AAUs are classified as active RUs and passive is basically referring to the traditional radio units. So what are the three features of the AAU? So what are the advantages of AAU? Highly integrated. We have the antenna system integrated with both radio unit and antenna unit, combiners and jumpers. And there is no need to use feeder over here. Massive MIMO can support more TX and RX, so higher MIMO gain here. So compared to the previous years, so the current AAU system has more higher TX and RX. So it's actually will improve the user experience and will increase the system capacity. And it uses the beam forming solution, which is also can give a better coverage. So more refined coverage solution can be achieved in the AAU system. So you can see the coverage is more refined over here. So this is the exterior and the function of an AAU module. So the module looks similar to this picture. So both are integrated with the AU system and RU system. So it will be connected to a BBU with a high interface module. We still have the TRX module, the transceiver module over here with extended ports, but they have variety of bands. So there are two types of band over here. Power amplifier, low noise amplifier. We have the power module and the duplexer plus the antenna system. So all of them are integrated in one module, which is known as AAU system. So this is the AAU family overview. So AAU family, A plus P module, easy macro, because you have antenna and the power module and massive MIMO. So this is the overall or a AAU family overview. And this is an example of an AAU system of 5726, 5000 series. So it looks like a similar to a book RRU concept, but it's slightly bigger because it's integrated with the RRU unit already here together with the antenna unit. So basically you have the RRU and the antenna unit together. So this is the exterior design and this is the parts and indicators. So the spec of this type of AEU system is that this model can support two types of band and it can support mainly LG network and also 5G network. And it also can support more TRX. So basically this is one part of the solution of Massive MIMO because it can support up to 32 TX and 32 RX. The second function of advanced band, it can support UMTS and LT as well, UMTS and also NR. So basically, even the first type of band, it can support 3G network. So basically, this function. This type of AAU is applicable to the, to the models of 3G side, LTE and NR, regardless, it's FDD. Mainly, it's actually focusing on the FDD solution here. And there is another TDD massive MIMO solution, but the model is not the same as what we have discussed earlier. It is starting with 32,000 uh, series, which is 3270 and 3271. And it supports massive MIMO as 64T and 64R with 120 watts or 100 watts. So this is a very high power requirement from the AEU itself. So BBU 3910 with UBBPEM. This is a TDD solution as well. It can support two cells with 20 megahertz bandwidth and with the massive MIMO for each UBBP EM. So each UBBP BM 
basically is 20 megahertz as a whole and it can support 6040 and 64 r massive mimo so this is a special solution and one cell itself can go up to the level of 16 stream in downlink and 8 streams in the uplink. One bot can share about 32 streams in the downlink and 16 streams in the uplink. And the throughput is also slightly higher here for this particular bot. However, there are some things that need to be noted. BBU 3900 series cannot be used for this kind of solution. It's not supported. This is only a TDD feature board and you cannot be used for the multi-mode coexistence. So these are some additional information about TDD Massive MIMO solution. So that's all for part 7. So over here we discuss about the AAU concepts and the AAU family overview. Let's go through a quiz question. An AAU integrates the baseband unit, radio unit and antenna unit. The statement is true or false? The answer is false. Thank you. That's all from me. Have a nice day. Bye.